Hello, this is Jake from the Corona team and this is the Corona Multi Shader. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Multi Shader to avoid repetition by varying the colours and opacity of each tree and leaf all from a single material. We'll start by adding random hues to change the season and then we'll move on to individual elements within each tree. We'll use the opacity to control the distribution of leaves and then I'll show you how to add fallen leaves to the ground. We currently have two trees with one leaf material scattered across our island. And whilst this looks okay, it can feel a bit repetitive and this is where the multi shader can help. This is the material we have applied to our leaves or needles in this case and it's made up of a bitmap with a slight colour correction. We can find the multi shader by right clicking new shader plugins corona multi shader. Corona multi shaders can take a single map or colour and randomise its hue, saturation and gamma and then distribute it based on different modes. And let's plug that into our texture and run an interactive render. And notice that objects is on by default and this means it will randomise by each object or instance. And we can see that in action in our frame buffer. There are plenty of modes we can choose from and we'll go over some more shortly. We can plug multiple textures into the multi shader but in our case we only have one leaf bitmap so let's change our layer count to 1. The hue will randomise the hue of our input, so when on zero, nothing will change. And if it's set to 100%, the output will use the maximum possible hue randomization. Now if we plug in our texture, each tree will have a random hue between 0 and 100, which is the whole colour range. And this can be a bit much, so let's set it to something more subtle at around 40% instead and this will give us hues within 40% away from our original colour. Before we look at controlling the number of leaves each tree has, what if we want to randomise the colour of individual leaves? Let's add a new multi shader and change the layer count to 1 as we'll be inputting our previous multi map. We can plug that into our texture. Now let's change our hue to 20% and as with the hue, the saturation specifies the maximum distance from the current saturation, so it'd be wise to keep these values pretty low. The gamma will also add randomization, 0 being 0% away from the original and 100% the maximum. And as with the saturation, let's keep these values low. And this time we can choose mesh element, and now notice that each leaf within the tree's mesh becomes its own colour. And now rather than the colour red driving the leaf colour, let's plug in our multi shader from earlier. And now each leaf has its own randomization. So we can use this to add further randomization, but we can also use the multi shader to randomize the opacity of the leaves. You can see we have an opacity map already plugged in. So let's create a multi shader. And this time we want two items and let's make them white and black. And black will not show and white will. So we want to plug in our original opacity map into the white and we'll plug this into our opacity. Now we can see that half of the trees have leaves and half don't. And this is because we have randomized by objects on. So let's put that onto mesh element and then to control how many leaves are on each tree, we can use frequency. And right now the frequency is on 1 and 1. And this means that the frequency of black and white will be a 50-50 split. The lower the number, the lower the colour or map will be used. So let's put the white onto point 1. And we can see that there's a lot less leaves on the tree. This is a bit sparse, so let's turn it up a bit. And now we have leaves falling from the trees. If we want to add leaves under our trees, we can use scatter. The needles were quite hard to see, so I'm going to demo on a tree with bigger leaves. So I pulled the leaves off of the tree and added them to the scatter. They're distributed onto this plane, and then I've used this circle as a spline area include. And then we can just scale this circle. Find out more about adding fall off areas in scatter in this video, and animate your own time lapses by watching this video.